What if you could take basic chicken wire and turn it into one of the coolest Halloween props and do it in like a day? We've heard it can be done, so we're gonna try it. Rachel Maxey did a chicken wire ghost on her channel a few weeks ago, and we were like, we could definitely do that. That looks fun. We have this graveyard in front of our house, so we're gonna have her hanging over the graveyard instead of like standing. And she's almost gonna have like this like dementor type pose. So, this is Lily. Say hi. We didn't actually name her this time. She came with the name, which is awesome. Body form is gonna be really helpful for wrapping the chicken wire around to get like an actual nice human shape with good proportions and everything. You know, as you saw in the spider, it's not easy to do that, so we enlisted some help. We picked this up used. You could also use a dress form, but probably don't want to use your children for this. It's chicken wire sharp. <laughs> Where do we start? We want to do the arms separate. Here. Yes. Right. Okay. Torso first, and then we'll do the arms and connect those later. All right. That's tight. Let's let's wire that together. Now we want this to go in, which means we're gonna have like all this excess. We have to decide do we want to like trim it off and then reconnect it or do we want to just like overlap it on itself? I think the less material the better. Yeah, agreed. That seemed to work well. Yeah, I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom so that can taper as well. It's going really well. It's laying against the front of the body. So now we're going to take in the sides. That's kind of convenient. You can just wrap it around itself. This is definitely helping like crazy to have the body form. When we were trying to do the back of the spider, it was, <laughs> it was a, well, you know, kind of a joke. <laughs> this actually looks like something already. It's exciting. Okay, so far so good. Yeah. Sort of just wrapped it and, you know, cinched it tight all around to make- Lady shape, ghost lady shape. <laughs> so the head will be a separate piece and then we're gonna have a flowing dress coming off of the hips. Should you do arms first? Yes. Okay. We'll see how secure it is. Put that hand down here. Down. Okay, cut. Where's my cutters? I don't know. Okay. All right. There's a problem. Well. Do you need a hand? <sighs> <laughs> what is it? I don't have any of my little claws. When you cut the edge of the metal and it's like, the little spiky ends? Yes. And you can wrap them around and that's how. Yes, that's okay. what I need. Okay. Okay, now we have spiky doo doo. And wrap from there. Needle nose pliers save your skin and fingers. There's so much more less pokey. The arms are done. That was pretty good. We made little paddle hands. This is obviously not Lily's head. We borrowed one. She, Lily didn't come with a head, but that's all right. We're gonna try and shape around this. Now, details aren't important, but we do need to make sure we get like the nose and the mouth and the chin and, you know, the profile shape. Again, my fingers got. <laughs> my fingers are so sore. I'm sure yours are too. Yes. All right. Oh, her poor nose. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> We crushed her nose. We crushed her poor nose. <laughs> Whoops. I can fix it though. Hold okay. on. <laughs> Maybe. We might have to add. What if we add a nose? We'll add a nose. Okay. We'll figure it out. Okay, 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 okay. Head, Look at this. arms, torso, most of a ghost. Head, shoulders, arms, and... We have kids, okay? I can't help it. <laughs> Time to cut this ghostly girl out of her form. Release her. <laughs> Release her from her bondage. <laughs> you ready? <laughs> yes. Please don't fall apart. She's free. Oh, look. Hey. Look at that. Here we go. I love it. That looks fantastic. We're going to do the same thing with the arms. Go. <laughs> Stitching it back together. We cut a strip and we're bending over all the little tabs so that we can hook the back back together. It's like a metal stitch. <laughs> Just back together. That works great. So I think now we're gonna do the same thing on the arms. We'll cut a strip, tie it back in. We'll get everything sewn together. All right, now 
This is a hard part because we have to make a pose. We have yeah. to we have to turn all these parts into you know something like a evil something and <laughs> something evil. Yes. I think we're gonna be going for like a like a uh, you know like like this type of mm -hmm. thing. You know. <laughs> So that I think this is going to end up probably something like this, and then we're going to have the dress kind of come high off like this, right? And give her some some booty. Some some boot <laughs> some ghost booty. Uh -huh. Cutting a hole in our perfect form. I know. <laughs> Those are pretty good armholes. Nice. Thank you. You position this. All right. Pinch the inside a little bit. Uh huh. These are the little things that make the poses look really good. It's just just a little bit. It's subtle. This is going to be kind of like here. Uh huh. Yes. That's where we want it. Okay. Now let's so make it uh... stay. All right. Yay. One arm down. The stuff is so light. That's what I love about it. Now the other arm. You got it? That's our spot right there. Okay. Hold on. Let go. Let go. I got it. it. Okay. I see him. All right. Okay. Okay. Head time. Can you maybe hold her like mm -hmm. that a little bit? The head's a little small for the body. It really is. But it'll look bigger once, <laughs> once there's hair. Yes. I think that's working. Okay. Once the dress and the hair are in there to fill out some of that volume. Really good. It's getting hard to see. It's like it's ghostly. What? <laughs> nice job. <laughs> high five. Like a trio high five? <laughs> <laughs> right. Look at Lily. She needs a skirt. Like a long flowing spectral skirt. I think what we should do is take long strips of this you're gonna poke my eye out. <laughs> Sorry. Skirt length strips as tall as you plus some. Probably like this. That is a short little person. No. <laughs> <laughs> Where did her legs go? So, I mean, right, like, so you're thinking like, long like float. really long. Okay. Yes. Oberon, dangerous place for a cat. Okay. How many of these do we need? I'll start with three. Four. We're gonna make four of these. We want the skirt to be flowy and like wide at the bottom. So we have to have more material at the bottom than we do at the top. To do that, we're gonna cut these long strips into triangles and we'll flip one of the triangles op over. <laughs> then we'll have lots of skinny parts at the top and wide parts at the bottom. You can't even see the material. It's like invisible. <laughs> I guess that's it's the point. It's a though. ghost. Yeah, it's a ghost. So see through. we're using that straight edge to mark our triangles. Ghostly triangles. The spookiest triangles. Okay, so this comes off the back. Uh huh. You wanted to make some bends, so it's gotta like kind of oh. flare up a little bit. Oh, hi. <laughs> Don't eat the metal. <laughs> He's gonna regret it when he gets poked so by this metal. Um, Should I like rotate the ghost? Well, we can do this top one and then we can rotate her. Okay. It needs to overlap this more. Overlap the first one more, you mean? Yeah. Okay. Oberon. Oberon, you have to go inside before you hurt yourself. It's for your own good. Say goodbye to everybody. This thing is... It's... Why you do that? <laughs> She's gonna have a V in the front. Oh. Like a cool dress. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's literally invisible. Shh. You know what? You don't know nothing about ghost dresses. <laughs> This is like a huge, like, ballroom gown. <laughs> I was picturing like a tattered nightgown. This is a fancy ghost. This is a Cinderella dress. We need ghostly mice and birds holding up little parts of the Okay, dress. all right, hear me out. Chicken wire chickens. <laughs> chicken wire ghost chickens. One of you guys out there I'd has to that. make that. Do, do they have like chicken mannequins? They must. How else are you gonna make chicken clothes? Do people make chicken clothes? Is that a thing? I bet they do. There's clothes for everything. All of our triangles are on. Yeah. We made a dress. We built a dress, you guys. It looks like a skirt. So they're all kind of attached up at they're the top. They're attached up to like here. Because that makes it round. If you cut up here, it won't it won't hold its cylindrical shape. Uh, you want to no. tatter it up? Well, we just have to cut all of this up now okay. that we spent so much time making it. That's cool. What's I, your tatter I, plan? I don't, have a, I don't have a tatter plan. Cut off all the nice work we just did. Great. Tatter, it's gonna, it's gonna go up. Does it look like a tatter? That actually does look tattery. Okay. So we're just gonna do that all the way around. Yeah. Tatters! It worked. Okay. It's very tattery. All right, the next thing <laughs> is we're gonna give the ghost some hair. <laughs> <laughs> 
Next, Lily needs hair. To do that, we cut two thicknesses of wire into a bunch of little strands. And we could just like tie it to her scalp, I guess, like hair normally is. But what I think is gonna be easier is if we take a big piece of this, make it kind of hair shaped, and then we tie the individual strands to this. So it turns out these little hairs, little tiny wires, super annoying to put on there. So I think it looks great as it is, and we're just gonna skip the rest of these. We put about half of them on, so it's good. Original Air Ghost was gonna be reaching from the grave for your soul, but we changed our mind. We actually want her to be holding like something like a lantern. So we went to Goodwill to see what we could find, and we, found, we actually found two. We found one in the Halloween section, which is like a toy kind of Halloween lantern, and it even has a cool little tea light in there, so it'll kind of flicker in the dark. We also found a realistic lantern, which is like super nice, but this thing is really heavy and not gonna work very well for this. So we'll save this for something else. Once again, Goodwill, awesome place to find Halloween stuff like this. Definitely check it out if you have one nearby. We are going to attach this to the hand. It'll sort of hang like this, and now all we gotta do is paint her and hang her up. We took her outside. <laughs> we took her out. I didn't even do it. You were gonna do it. No. We took her outside and spray painted her with some of this glow-in-the-dark spray paint. Are you ready to go check out this ghost? Let's do it. All right. Thanks for watching y'all. If you like what you see, like, comment, subscribe, and until next time.